This is dump day in quartzite. And I got a few tips that I learned specifically for quartzite when you need to hit the dump. You know, if you got a, if you got a van, you're gonna have some sort of toilet situation, you're gonna have to hit the dump. A lot of people have the blue boys, the little fart carts, the, those little carts that you tote around, they're like 20 gallons or whatever, but we don't have that system. All I got is uh, the normal tank in the, uh, in the RV there. And the crazy thing about quartzite is there's only two dump stations and it's included in the permit, but you could be in a long line. I mean, I've been in, the worst I've been in was like maybe an hour. And sometimes you go there and it's, uh, it's like, oh man, it's gonna be a two hour wait. And you just go back to camp and wait for the line to shorten up and then go, go back to the dump and hit the dump. But I don't know how they can get away with only having two dump stations here. Cause there's, I mean, there's just thousands and thousands of people camped out here. It's crazy that we all have to basically just share one dump or two. We have to share two dump stations and they're nasty. Like they're not even like up, they're not even upkept. Like they're in terrible condition. Um, there's, you know, they just got, they don't have a lid on them. They're, they're filthy. The hose that gives you water to like rinse your tank is like constantly dripping. So it's falling in this puddle of like sewage water that's kind of puddled up around the dump station so it's like kind of splashing on you it's just disgusting it's really bad um but it you know it does work like you can you hook you hook your hose up to it and you dump it and get rid of all your crap and then you and then you go back into camp the problem is you know you can rinse your tanks out there if you want to and i tend to not have to do that too often because we use our tanks regularly so they they get flushed out pretty pretty good but every you know third time or so i do kind of like to flush it out with an extra 10 gallons of water and you know flush out the tank keep them fairly clean but when there's a line of people you don't have time to do that and especially for someone like me i'm just one person so if i decide to rinse out my tanks it's going to take even longer and there's people lined up back there waiting and waiting so what i do is i actually i time myself when i when i go to the dump station because i don't want to hold people up in the line too long and so I give myself about 10 minutes and that's one of my tips. Not necessarily timing yourself, but you do want to keep track of the time because you don't, you don't want to have people waiting because people, people don't really tend to get upset, but it sucks when there's a, there's a long line. So one of my tips is when you're, when you're checking out how long the wait is going to be at this station, since there's two dumps for every person in line, you figure five minutes for each person. So if there's 10 people in line, it's gonna be 50 minutes, you know, about an hour until it's your turn. So you just count the people, number of people in line and that gives you a really good uh, indicator of how long it's gonna take. So as you're heading into town, you know, with, with just your vehicle or whatever, you're not, you don't, you're not bringing your RV to go dump, then keep track of the time of day, the day of week, um, also the time of year, because you know, January and February, it's going to be a lot busier because there's just more people out here. But keep track of like when, when the busy times are and when the not busy times are. What I've learned is if you go basically, you know, around dinner time before sundown, just before sundown, maybe two hours or an hour before sundown, there's not going to be a line. So that's really the best time to go. If you go in the morning, you're pretty much going to be in a line every, every time before noon is not really a good time either. So you try to wait till after lunch and then and then go hit the dump if you can if you want to avoid that line now i did visit the new dump station which they got four new dump stations installed at uh what's it called tyson is it tyson wells i think it's tyson wash ltva and so they got four dump stations there i, I took a little bit of video i'll put that in here so you can see what it looks like and man they look really awesome it's like four brand new dump stations so next year and the years to come hopefully they'll be open uh, so they were supposed to be open this year and that was something i was kind of excited about because you can just dump and not have to worry about a line basically with four dump stations that should be should be fairly adequate but they're not open now for some reason what i heard was something about the well didn't work or something like that they couldn't get water to it so we're coming up on the dump station right here and here's one of my other tips this is like a bonus tip see this guy right here in the in the van he's got a yellow vest on 
and he's a volunteer for the uh, Bureau of Land Management and he just checks to make sure everybody has a sticker because you have to have a permit to use this dump and here's the bonus tip is they'll either have a stop sign here or this uh, this yellow light and you want to stop if you don't stop the uh, the guy that's watching over to make sure you have uh, your permit the only other job he has basically is to tell you to stop there and so if you don't wait right there if you come up here and kind of kind of hover in this area then he'll come out and tell you like hey you're supposed to stop at that light or that sign so make sure you stop right there and this is awesome because uh, check it out we just drove right in we didn't even have to really stop so I'm gonna do the dump here and I'm not even gonna show you what these look like because hopefully the new ones will be functional uh, when you come next year uh, but you can kind of see there I mean they're pretty run down and busted up and then they got these hoses here on these it's so stupid it's such a stupid system but I'm happy to have it it's totally worth it the permit is totally worth it so I'm not really complaining I'm just saying it uh, it needs to be updated so you can see right here so you got these puddles of nasty water and actually here's another bonus tip it's a good time to come if it's hot out like if it's super sunny out because then whatever nasty puddles are out here whatever crap water there is like just laying around you you won't have to step in it because it'll dry up a lot quicker so it's it's drier it's a little bit cleaner if it's super hot out i'm actually the only person using the dump station right now so i can uh, take a second and shoot some video here otherwise i wouldn't shoot any video here but uh you see this hose this is the hose you're supposed to use to rinse out your tank or you can fill up a bucket and then go inside and dump it in to rinse out your tank that way but you see how it's swinging because it's windy and then this thing just drips plus this is the hose that people stick down this hose your sewer hose to uh, rinse it out so that this whole end has been just covered in just crap everybody's crap so you're sitting here trying to dump your tank and this thing is swinging around dripping on you and, and you're constantly bumping into it you're hitting your head on it your hair is hitting it it's just disgusting so uh, so unpleasant but right now it's fairly dry here because it's super hot out so i'm uh taking that as a win so today's just kind of a spur of the moment day because somebody left near a spot that i wanted to uh, occupy and you can move around whenever you want but i was like i think uh i don't want to be too close to people and i want to you know i don't want to move in next to somebody if there's tons of room so they left today so i was like well i guess it's a good day for me to move too so whenever you hook up your rig it's a good time to go dump too so that's why i'm dumping and i'm filling up water right now i just filled up the trailer and so now i'm just filling up these jugs i got four of these six gallon jugs in here and you see this uh this device right here this is a really inexpensive device and it was something that I thought I didn't need. Uh, it's, it's for RVers mostly, really. It's just a shutoff valve, but it has this nice spout in it. Somebody, one of my subscribers, got this for me last year. And man, every time I use it, I think about the person who sent it to me. Actually, they didn't even leave their name, so I don't really know who sent it to me, but it was one of my subscribers. And man, it's so awesome. And speaking of subscribers sending me stuff off my wish list, somebody sent me, can you see Echo up in there? Hit a piece for his bed because the fabric on his bed was all torn up. And uh, I found out you can get replacement fabric for it. So I put that on my wish list and one of my subscribers said they ordered it for me. And it's so awesome. Once I get it, then I'll do a little review on the bed and uh, the replacement part. But to the person who sent it to me, I, I forgot already who did, but once I get it, then I'm sure their name will be on it. And so I'll mention you. Uh, but I saw you left in the comments that you sent that to me and it's so awesome. Like seriously, like I couldn't believe it that you sent me that. I mean, people, you guys send me stuff every once in a while and uh, it's so nice. It's so nice. And stuff on my on my list is it's stuff that I don't necessarily need. It's just stuff that I 
kind of want or want to test out or want to do a review of it on the channel. You know, Echo can get by without a bed, so it's not a super necessity, but uh, I thought it was cool you could get the replacement part for it. So we'll see how that works. Should be exactly the same as the original. It's pretty cool. So I actually got a lot of tips in this video. I was trying to do like the three main tips. And can you see out there is the dumpster. There's a couple dumpsters and there's like a ramp you drive up on. Let me show you. So right there, and it's right across from the uh, dump. See the dumps right over there. And then you can hit those dumpsters. And one of my tips is if you're in line for the dump, it's just right there where those cones are. You can get out of your rig, park your rig in line and walk across the street with your garbage and dump it in the garbage so you can do all those things at one time. Um, I didn't get an opportunity to do that today because there was no line at the dump. But that's a, actually a really awesome time-saving tip. You know, I'm just one person, so maybe my tips are a little different. If you have two people, you can kind of split those tasks up. Well, the dogs are good for companionship and security, but <laughs> they don't do uh, they don't do many chores. That's for sure. It's actually getting a little windy, which is nice because it feels good when it's this hot out. But it doesn't make good for shooting video because the sound gets kind of crappy, even in the truck. Like, I got to have the windows down. So I rolled them up for a minute so I can give you a couple more tips about uh, dumping at quartzite. And what I do is, you saw the, the hose that they supply there at the dump, and it's just a, no pun intended, but it's a crap hose. It's a crap setup, and it's like, you don't want to touch it. It's disgusting. Um, you know, you can wear gloves. I tend to not wear gloves at the dump stations, but some people do, and you can probably get a little bit more done. But generally, there's a line, and you're not going to have time to really rinse stuff out. So... What, one thing that I do, and I think a lot of RVers do this really, it's, it's pretty common, but what you do is you dump your tanks and then, then what I did here is I, I flushed a little bit of fresh water into the tank, close, close the tank up first, the valve, and then dump a little bit of fresh water into the tank, you know, a couple of gallons. And then you go back outside and pull the, pull the, uh, the valve again and let that run out. And then if you can do that a few times, you can rinse out the your tank pretty well. Dang, it's getting hot in here, so I gotta be quick <laughs> with these tips. I got two more tips for you. This one's pretty common. I think most of you RVers will know this one. And if you have any better suggestions, put it down in the comments and you know we can kind of have a discussion about all your tips because this is the kind of thing that makes you know your RV life a little bit easier, a little bit more fun, especially if you're just by yourself. It, these little things make, make uh, your day a little bit smoother. You know, we can dump, dump our tanks in about an hour or something like that you know driving into the into the LTVA that has the dump station and uh, and then back to camp but what you want to do is when your black tank is basically empty you leave the valve open and then pull the valve for your gray water and let the gray water run for a little bit and that'll kind of push anything out from the black tank that was kind of near the valve it kind of helps with that a little bit and of course then really what's happening is your hose is getting a lot cleaner. It's not full of nasty black water anymore, just getting the gray water in there, which is nasty water too, but it's not, you know, it's not poo-poo water. So you pull the valve on the, the gray water, so the gray water's running, and then let it run for a, f a few seconds, and then close the black, the black tank valve, and then let all the gray water come out. And then you want to go inside, if you can, if you have time, put a little fresh water in the, in the gray water tank, and open the valve again and let that out. And so you're kind of rinsing that tank out. In this case, like today, I didn't do that because a couple people pulled in behind me. So I got to rinse the black tank out a little bit, but I didn't get to rinse the gray tank out, which is fine. I, I don't have to do that too often. So for me, it's, it's totally fine. I can be pretty quick. And it only took me less than 10 minutes for that whole, that whole stop there at the, at the dump. You can see how bumpy this road is. And most of the roads in the LTVAs are like this. There, there are some paved sections, but there's a lot of dirt roads you're gonna be on. So you can use that to your advantage when you're doing your tanks. What you do is 
you put a little bit of fresh water in your empty tanks, both your gray tank and your black tank, and then put your chemical in, whatever chemical you use. And I'm gonna do a video later because I've tried several different chemicals and so I have my favorite. So stay tuned for that, you know, super exciting, but it'll help you, you know. If you, if you don't know what chemicals to use or you haven't found the best one or you haven't tried them all, then I'll wait for that video because I'll show you what I like. So you put a little bit of the chemical in, maybe a gallon or two of clean water in your black tank and your gray tank. And now when you're going down this road, that's gonna be all sloshing around in there, kind of cleaning out your tank once again. And then you go into camp, fill it up, and then you go hit the dump and uh, you'll have a you know pretty well rinsed tank that way. So you're using the bounciness of the road. You know, it's just a few miles to get back to camp from the dump station but that's enough to agitate whatever's kind of in there, you know, whatever's stuck on the walls and the tanks, that kind of thing. We'll get agitated with that chemical and with that couple gallons of fresh water in there. What some people will do is they'll put actually uh, ice, they'll buy bagged cubed ice, and they'll put that in the tank. And so then when they're driving around, it's, you know, it's abrasive when it's rolling around in there in your tanks, and that'll really break up anything. But I don't really have problems with, with clogs in the tank. Actually, I haven't had that problem at all. You know, you gotta use the right kind of toilet paper. That's something I'll talk about too, is using the right kind of toilet paper. Really, you can get away with most toilet papers and there's an easy test you can do to uh, determine if it's a good toilet paper for you to use. But if, you're, if you got a bunch of other people camped with you and you're all kind of using the same black tank, then you're gonna tend to get more clogs. So that's kind of one of the advantage of just being me is like, you know, I know the rules when you use the toilet, how much stuff you can put in the toilet and how much water it needs and all that. So if you have, if you have kids or other family members, they may not be following the, the rules that help keep it uh, maintained and keep it flowing well. So you might deal with clogs more. So then in that case, the, uh, the cubed ice is uh, probably gonna be a good solution for you. All right, I'm going back to camp. It's hot out here. I gotta roll down these windows. Hey, thanks for watching the Got Out channel, hanging out with me and the dogs. Hit that like button, let us know you're watching. We like to know you're watching. And uh, until next time, uh, we'll see you around.